What is up my original Bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War gameplay. So today guys what I want to talk to you all about is Call of Duty Black Ops Cold Wars Bullet Penetration and Flinch. So just on regards to Flinch, Tony Flame did say this on Twitter. Damage Flinch has been redesigned in Black Ops Cold War. Flinch is now primarily a feedback mechanism to help you understand your taken damage without affecting the aim position of your weapon. Your weapon will move with your screen to stay on target. No more flinch headshots. This is a great change because many people could get easy headshots because of the flinch. So for example, if you are shooting someone and I shoot the first and get two to three bullets on them and they turn and then they are aimed in and shooting back their weapon will automatically flinch up meaning it will kick up to the sky because they are being shot at giving them a much easier chance at hitting headshots and killing you faster this is primarily in modern warfare right now and it's just terrible this system was very luck based but it was incredibly annoying and it probably the most annoying thing or annoying way to die in Call of Duty. So bullet penetration. Bullet penetration is when you are shooting something, for example like a wooden table, you can technically shoot through it. Of course this could be done without the perk deep impact from COD 4 or even the attachment FMJ. Looking at Modern Warfare 2019, you can't really wall bang anyone which kind of just makes no sense. Of course, there is certain parts that you can wall bang, and it was just, it was very hit and miss. However, Tony Flame also had this to say, bullet penetration will be consistent per weapon in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. While past titles had attachments like FMJ, we found these to be inconsistent and unreadable on the receiving end. It's solely class based. LMGs have more penetration than ARs, which have more penetration than SMGs. This is something we saw in old school COD games and this is coming back now in Black Ops Cold War. I feel like this with the flinch mechanic will give Black Ops Cold War's multiplayer will have a kind of a completely different feel compared to recent COD titles and this was more evident in the alpha as well like I whenever I was shot I wasn't really flinching but I was still going around the place because I was kind of panicking at the same time that I was being shot at but of course the skill gap is there that if you're good if you're calm you'll just be able to kill the person unless they literally hit every single shot on you personally I think this is a step in the right direction and another thing I want to talk about is the driving and firing mechanic so Tony Flame also had this to say about this topic as long as you have your driver's license then you can shoot from the driver's seat of the jet skis snowmobiles and motorcycles in first person while moving what he's trying to say is that if you are the driver then you will be able to fire from your hip or from the hip relations this is something we have never had to do in multiplayer and, uh, we were able to do this man. in the campaign for example the modern warfare 2 campaign there's one man. where you are on a snowmobile and you Ree! couldn't aim down sight and it's just hip fire Ree! and it would just go to whatever enemy that was near you. So what weapons could we see being able to use in this certain kind of environment? We, it could, and it would only make sense if it was the likes of SMGs maybe, and pistols. They're the only small weapons that would be logical to see. Now, that's, just Jeez, my opinion i'd say we oh, could potentially even, uh, not see any this, right? uh, smgs it could easily be shot we never really know in but logically be it would make sense if it was just pistols only I'm not now trying regarding to the driver's license we could potentially game, see you having to air a driver's license S in Zen, black ops cold war as multi and then maybe and you're able to shoot PSN from the vehicle, which I kind also of hope isn't a thing, because it's just really, like, it makes, 
it makes no sense and it doesn't really make much sense for this to be a thing personally i would like it if this wasn't a thing to me it's just it isn't a call of duty mechanic but that's just me it, loads of people could easily say well actually i want this as a mechanic fuck but ratio how five. would this what work y you're you have to be like right beside One them just to be able to hip fire right. them or do you have a laser oh, shit, sight on it damage. where you can actually it's point the laser sight and you can shoot? Damage. I'm not really sure how it's going to work. It's going to be really, really weird. But this is just me talking yeah. about But, you know, it could easily happen. I don't really so. know. <laughs> but, yeah, no stay in the video, guys. I hope you did like it. If you did, please Thanks. hit the like button. Right beside the like button is the <laughs> subscribe button vibes. that you can hit sorry. to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Beside that is no notification you ever see that, that like, you can oh, hit I'm sorry, uh, you have today your turn whenever Ill. I upload a video like, to my oh, YouTube channel or whenever I go live on my live? YouTube channel, and which is rare. Yeah, you have, you have Speaking like a of live, live streams or you... And then it was like, what are you doing, sir? I have a and Twitch like, account that I've recently got the affiliate, and really. I'm soon to get <laughs> my uh, sub button. And once I do, I'll probably make a video, and you can just join me there. And I hopefully will be live streaming for a good few hours. Hopefully, I yeah, I hope there. anyway. Attachment. Uh, link to that will be down in the description below. Once you're there, oh you can God. hit the follow button and hit the notification bell no, to stay up to date whenever I go live on my Twitch channel. I also have a Twitter account that I manually update whenever I upload a video to my YouTube channel or whenever I go live on my Twitch channel. Link to that will be down in the description below as well. And uh, as you guys, hope you like, subscribe and peace. Sounds like a you.